Hey guys and welcome to another edition of Showbiz Insider, your entertainment review of all of the events in the Emirates. I'm Zoe and this is of course Movida Dubai. Now March is the month of art, culture and society. With Fashion Forward, the Aslan Hot 100 and of course the 11th edition of Art Dubai. Now this showcased 93 galleries from 43 different countries. That's the stories of over 500 artists from around the world. Be inspired, here's the highlights. The most dynamic and diverse edition yet, Art Dubai was well worthy of a royal opening. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai, toured the contemporary halls with new fair director, Myrna Ayad. We want to continue being uh, the region's preeminent platform to discover art from the Middle East, North Africa and South Asia. We are the most global of art fairs. Can you believe that this year we have 43 countries coming through Art Dubai through 93 galleries? From the UAE we've got 12 galleries, uh, most of which are located in El Sirkal Avenue. But then we have galleries from Peru, from Uruguay, all the way through Australia, the Middle East, Europe, we've got 44 galleries coming in from Europe, some from North America as well, so really the world is coming to Art Dubai. Exploring 78 galleries from 41 countries, evocative sculptures were juxtapositioned by virtual waterfalls and interactive installations. The contemporary halls boasted a refined curatorial effort, where you create your own personal dialogue of artistic preference. An art fair is a universe of things. I mean, it's like a constellation. You have stars from everywhere. But I think that what we try to do when we put the galleries together, or one facing the other, is precisely that the viewer can complement the experience. So you can be in a booth just devoted to sculpture, and suddenly in front, a gallery that is dealing with video and image in movement. And then it's how you force the viewer to make questions. Featuring the works of both emerging and established artists, 12 galleries were represented the UAE. Analyzing cultural climate at IAM Gallery, work explored dialogue of displacement and nostalgia. Here we're showing a solo booth by Iraqi artist Sadiq Fasha Fraji. Um, he's based in Amsterdam. Um, so this is a, a project that was specially commissioned for Art Dubai. Uh, behind me, um, it's a, a two-channel video installation. Um, it's called Seasons of Lost Baghdad. It's two frame. One of the frames behind me, you will see um, a figure orbiting um, without a direction. It talks about the experiences of immigrants. And next to it is a, a similar uh, channel, but with uh, various different um, circles. Some of them are void, some of them have imagery, creating a sense of chaos and anxiety, uh, which is experienced by uh, immigrants on a daily basis. An ever-strong contingent of Iranian galleries were led by sculpture at Dastan's basement. The fall is visually inspired by the myth of Icarus and depicts the fall of mankind. The main idea is how man is never uh, stable uh, in dealing with his surroundings. So uh, it's always a fall. Whatever you do, whatever you, however you try, it's always a falling experience. <laughs> so um, the wings are made out of wood. Uh, MDF wood and uh, they are just paper. It's, the, the sculpture itself is made out of uh, fiberglass. That's uh, um, a spraying, what do you call it, insecticide sprayer on the back. It's a motor. What do you see happening in the Iranian art scene? Why is it like really sort of making great strides at the moment? Well, um, I mean, Iran and specifically Tehran has a really vibrant art scene. Uh, a lot of experiments. A lot of growth, a lot of new art galleries opening up and uh, new artists and well with new generations you have new experiences. Extending that global representation of contemporary art, new countries participating included Algeria, Peru and Uruguay. The gallery is uh, from Pueblo Garzón, it's a tiny city in Uruguay, close to Punta del Este, a chic resort uh, where many international collectors visit during the summer. And uh, we present a project with three contemporary artists, one from Uruguay, a sculptor, actually three sculptors from uh, Uruguay, Brazil and Japan. 
So they have three different visual language, but they really go well together. And on top, to, to give uh, more congruity, we had a monochromatic uh, white exhibition. So the three present monochromatic pieces in white. The prestigious Abraj Group Art Prize is curated by Omar Barada and invites artists to submit proposals for major new commissions that's funded by a $1,000 grant. The exhibition is called Seepage slash Ritual. <laughs> um, you probably have that in your files. Um, the uh, people ask me about this title. It's, um, I think, it came from discussing the works of the artists and choosing those works, the, it seems to me that one of the things that art tries to do is give sensory shape to reality in a way, in, in a way that can be experienced by viewers. And uh, the problem with reality is that it keeps escaping, it keeps seeping through. You can never get a, a view, a global whole, entire view of it in one go. Catching reality, winner Rana Begum presented her work of outdoor geometric abstraction, an adventure of colour and light, complemented by the prose of Aristotle, with insights into the ritual of repetition. The piece stems from a series of work that I started in 2011, and the series of work is about, well, it focuses on interaction of form and colour. I wanted to find a way to make that interaction more physical and more tangible. I wanted the viewer to be able to experience that interaction. So is, that, is that the main theme behind it, the main idea? Is it sort of perception? Is it, there was that wonderful Aristotle quote, how does that define it? Um, well, I think for me, the main thing in my work is about light, colour and form. And what I wanted with this piece was to embody those three elements in the work and create an experience that is, I feel maybe that pushes some of the, some of the boundaries within painting, sculpture and architecture. From embodying space and philosophy to food, the room Cooking Liberty is a surrealist gastro experience taking cues from Salvador Dali's cookbook. With panties tied around their lips. And the immersive experiences continued, waltzing visitors through the living stage with the Art Dubai Commissions program, which is now immersive and entirely performance-based. These are moments you really had to experience yourself. It's a way of relating with the viewer in making the visitor have like a very new experience and how the unexpected can happen, no? Suddenly you are in a hall and whoops, what's going on? Further investigating the human presence through the art of film, the inception of Art Dubai portraits allowed us to meet the artists and gain perspectives into their workspaces and lives. When it is done by one person, but there is always someone behind it, whether that someone is a partner, artist or a friend. The Global Art Forum is the platform for cultural debate and artistic dialogue. Under the theme of trading places, the exchange of ideas and goods took us through Silk Road paths from tradition to modernity. Trade is literally all around us. Dubai has been a trade entrepot for centuries. During the last century, the Gulf went from pearl fishing to oil and gas drilling, OPEC and GCC. We tend to think of trade as the exchange of goods the movement of people, but it's also a history and a future of ideas being traded. And right now, the very last big idea about trade, globalization, seems under threat by rising nationalisms and a return to excluding wars. Questions of globalization and the role of the art world to disarticulate and undo the threads of life. Art and the Forum certainly facilitating intellectual discussion. And Art Dubai Modern continue to present a visual anthology of the 20th century histories of the region, adding the inaugural Modern Symposium to celebrate the cultural impact of 20th century masters. The energy in Modern is very special because also it's solo shows or two-person shows and it's like a reading of history. It's like a beautifully, beautiful way to understand where are we and what are we where we come from. And the history of the Menasa region in terms of uh, our past in art is still to be written. And it's super exciting to see how there's a reading this year, 
because you can do like a beautiful walk for the last 70 years and then go to the contemporary halls and understand why. From a journey of untold secrets and the history of art to creating future generations of little artists, it was certainly a sensory adventure for all and the highlight of Dubai art season. An extensive program of new galleries, new concepts and of course exciting growth in Dubai's cultural landscape. Moving on now to the art of fashion, season 9 of Fashion Forward is after the break.